Joshua Westbury and Stephen Runga delve into the complexities of reported speech and its various forms. They categorize reported speech into different levels based on their position within a dialogue or narrative structure. 1. Reported speech, level 1. This is the most straightforward form of reported speech. These are sentences that are part of a spoken dialogue and are indented one level below the verb that introduces them. For example, in the sentence, John said, I am going. The phrase I am going would be an example of level 1 reported speech. These sentences are labeled according to their function, much like any other sentence in a dialogue. 2. Reported speech, level 2. This form of reported speech is a bit more complex. These sentences are part of a spoken dialogue but are embedded within another speech. They are indented two levels below the main verb of speaking that introduces the main speech. For instance, in John said that Mary claimed, I am innocent. The phrase I am innocent is level two reported speech. Again, these sentences are labeled according to their function. 3. Reported speech level 3. This is an even more complex form where the reported speech is embedded within a speech, which is itself embedded in a higher level speech. These sentences are indented three levels below the main verb that introduces the main speech. An example might be a sentence like, John said that Mary claimed that Peter thought, this is unfair. Here, this is unfair would be level three reported speech. As with the other levels, these sentences are labeled based on their function. Four, unframed reported speech. This is a unique form where the reported speech is not introduced by any quotative frame like said or claimed. These sentences are part of the dialogue but are not indented. For example, in a dialogue where one person says, I'm going and that's final, and the other replies, and that's final, is it? The phrase, and that's final, is it? would be an example of unframed reported speech. Moreover, these sentences are labeled according to their function. 5. Topic of verbless clause. This is a label used to identify the topic or subject of a clause where no finite verb form is present. This is particularly useful in languages or sentence structures where the verb might be implied rather than explicitly stated. Westbury and Runga's categorization serves as a useful framework for understanding the nuances of reported speech, particularly in complex dialogues or narratives where multiple levels of speech are embedded within each other. Their system of labeling and indentation provides a clear method for identifying and analyzing the function and level of each instance of reported speech.